In this video, I'll be demonstrating DataVail's sensitive data discovery and automatically generated masking capability. When you first start DataVail, you'll be presented with an empty space such as this. The first step is to define a connection to your database. Here we're connecting to a SQL Server database on the same computer as DataVail using Windows authentication so we don't need to specify the host address or username and password. In the Discovery Search tab, there are a number of predefined search patterns. You can add each one that you need individually, or you can use the Configure tool. Select the region that's applicable to you, and the relevant patterns shall be added to the Discovery query. Now click Search. After the Discovery Search has completed, you will see a completion status summary. In the Classification tab, we can see a list of data classifications that were found. We can expand each classification to see which specific types were found. We can also drill down to see exactly where the data was found. If we click on the field Customer Full Name, we can immediately see a sample of that data in the Data Browser window. If we want to review the detection details of this particular field, then we can right click and choose View in Performance. This takes us to the next tab called Performance and conveniently highlights the field Customer Full Name. Here we can see the detection confidence level and the basis for it, such as whether the field name matched the pattern searched and how many hits there were in the sample and as a percentage. You can also view some of the actual values that caused hits. DataVal also shows you negative hit details. A negative hit is a value that DataVal specifically rejected as invalid according to the pattern. For example, in the social security number result, we can see that DataVal rejected these values that start with the 9 because a valid social security number cannot start with a 9. Moving on to the next tab, being the masking tab, we could just click on the tab or we can conveniently right click on a row and choose view in masking. Here you can see some of the same information but some other information that's more relevant to configuring masks such as data definition type on the database and a pre-configured mask proposed by DataVal. For the social security number you can see that DataVal is proposing the national identifier mask. You can view or edit proposed masks by right-clicking and choosing Edit Proposed Mask. As you can see, it has been pre-configured for United States Social Security Numbers. The option to preserve the first three digits has also been selected, which in this case is particularly good because the Discovery Search found some invalid Social Security Numbers beginning with nines, which can be helpful to preserve so that this invalid property can be explored later, such as in a testing or development environment after the data has been masked. For the full name field, we can see that DataVal has provided a supplemental note saying that the family name of a full name field has been detected in the last position of that field. And we can see that it has been correctly configured in a person full name mask for family names to be in the last position. Now you should review each of these results because you might get some false positives or you may just decide that you don't want to mask some of these fields. For example, DataVal has reported that US states have been detected. States are not generally sensitive, but a search pattern for states was included in the discovery query as part of finding address fields you can see that DataVal didn't even propose a mask in this case. So let's remove that row from the result. You can do this by right click and choose remove from result. You can move each of these results into your masking project either one by one for example we can say that we want to accept the proposed mask for address line one and move it into the masking project by right clicking and choosing move into project and you can see that it is now a mask in your project. 
or you can move all remaining discovery results to your masking project by clicking on the Move All into Project button. The dialog also gives you the option to apply all of the proposed masks or just mark all of the fields as sensitive and you can go in later and add your own masks manually. Let's apply all the proposed masks. And now you can see that the discovery results have been moved into the masking project. If you'd like to see a preview of what the mask values will look like, you can just click on the Preview Run button. Dataval will perform its usual setup and execute its masks, but it doesn't actually overwrite the original data. When it completes, you can see the original values and what the mask values would look like side by side. The preview mask values are shown on a yellow background and the word preview is shown in the column heading. If you're happy with the configured masks then you can go ahead and overwrite the database with masked values. Now we can also review the actual before and after mask values. The mask values are on a yellow background again, but notice that the column heading now contains the word masked. You can also click on any field name in the run plan and the data browser will adjust to show you its before and after masked values. Dataval also automatically generates a report on the masking execution which you can see in the Reports tab. There are options such as automatic deletion of old reports, custom headings, and even email notifications if you like. If you want to keep some reports permanently then you can move them to the archive folder. I hope you've enjoyed this brief demonstration. If you are interested to know more, then please visit our website at www.dataval.com where you can also download the full software with the freeware license. All the features are enabled and the freeware license will never expire.